Hi everybody and Merry Christmas. I come back with another special Christmas tips related to Power Query. Today I'm going to show you how to create load tracker inside the Power Query. Consider this example. The last price of Bitcoin is loaded by this query. If I'm going to right click on it and press refresh, this row is going to replace with the last price. But instead of replacing the last price, I want to preserve historical value. In another word, by refreshing this query, I want to add new row at the below of this table. Let's see how we can do this. This is the query namely last price result in this table. So I'm going to select this table and copy it and paste it here. A new query is created exactly the same as the last price query. To make it clear, let's rename this table as a result. So, this table is result of this query. If I right click on it or refresh it, this table is going to update it. So, to complete the solution, right click on it and press edit. I do not need this step. In the source step, I remove all the formula and replace it by excel.current workbook here. Yeah, let's check it. It resulted this table because we have just two tables inside this Excel file. I need this result table and select this one. So by doing this, we know that this table is result of this query. But by removing all the step and replace it with these two new step, we said that let's load the last result inside this query. So we make a loop inside this query. In the last step, we just need to add the last price of Bitcoin. So let's say add last price and press enter. Let's press close and load and see the result. Now we have a table that preserves historical data and added the last price as a new row. So this is the table, this is the price on this time, this is the price on this time, and if I'm going to refresh it, a new row will be added for this time, which the price is different. So we make the load tracker inside the Power Query. 